In medieval times, this plague was considered a curse conjured by black magic to torment bad children. No, I'm not talking about the bubonic plague. I'm referring to what we now consider a common childhood disease, chickenpox. Well, it's not caused by black magic. This curse is actually the varicella zoster virus that causes the skin to become a sea of itchy, raw pockmarks. Chicken pox will start out with perhaps a fever, decreased appetite, some crankiness, some sleepiness, and then over the course of several days, a rash will start to appear. The rash is, usually starts out as a red splotch that becomes raised, and then it turns into a fluid-filled pustule. The next stage is the pustule will rupture, and then it will crust over. The telltale sign of chickenpox is that you'll have these lesions, this rash, at all different ages on the body at the same time. So some of them will be red, some of them will be fluid filled, and some of them will be crusted. You usually will not have them all at the same time, at the same stage. That's how we tell the uh, difference between that type of chickenpox rash. The virus travels from person to person through the air, but also from direct contact with the blister secretions. Yes, at some point those fluid-filled sores burst open and ooze out. Perhaps that's one of the reasons children are so prone to chicken pox. I can't think of any other demographic who'd be so eager to touch fluid oozing out from another person's sores. When is the illness over? Once all of the lesions are crusted over, you're no longer contagious. There is about a 21-day incubation period for chicken pox. So if you or your child has been exposed to chicken pox, you're not out of the woods until 21 days has passed. The treatment for chicken pox, for the most part, is conservative. We just make you comfortable and we wait it out until all of the lesions are crusted over. In certain cases, certain rare cases, when a child is high risk or immunocompromised, there are some antiviral medications that can be given. To keep your kids from scratching, you can put socks or mittens on their hands, especially during sleep, keep the fingernails trimmed short and clean, use cool compresses on the skin, and apply oatmeal-based lotions or paste regularly. We also have a vaccine for the chicken pox. Adults who never experienced the disease as a child should seriously consider getting the vaccine, because the chicken pox is much more severe as you get older. And any kids who still manage to get the chicken pox after receiving the vaccine will have a milder outbreak than normal. It used to be extremely common and almost a rite of passage for children before we started vaccinating. We started vaccinating several decades ago. And as of recently, we are now giving two vaccines, one at the age of one, and the second one somewhere between the ages of two and five years of age. For the most part, we don't see chicken pox anymore. So most of the parents have had chicken pox, most of the children have not. Now, once you've had the chicken pox, you'll never have it again. You have paid your dues and now you've acquired immunity to that disease. However, that immunity doesn't totally free you from the virus. And that curse can creep up and haunt you years later on down the road. Chicken pox is caused by the varicella virus. When you have chicken pox and clear it, the varicella virus will stay dormant in your body for years. When you get older, the varicella virus can resurface and it would resurface as shingles which is a localized, painful, pustular rash that can take several weeks to go away. Luckily today, we do have some vaccines uh, that combat shingles or prevent shingles, and uh, it's essentially a booster of your body's memory, immunologic memory, to uh, decrease the chances of the recurrence. So, I guess that medieval black magic just doesn't have the same reach as it used to. Or maybe our children are just better behaved. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham, and you're watching the eHealth Network. Don't scratch.